Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on quadrilaterals. So in this video, we will discuss types of quadrilaterals. What are the various types of quadrilaterals we need to discuss and learn more about the properties of that type of quadrilaterals which are very important from the exam point of view and to solve the questions. So let's get started with the first quadrilateral which is parallelogram. Now, so parallelogram, it's a general quadrilateral. It's very important property. Uh, the properties of parallelogram so let's discuss first of all the properties of parallelogram now the first property is, is in parallelogram opposite sides are equal and parallel what does it means is if we say opposite sides are equal and parallel means this side is parallel to this side and this side is equal to this side Similarly, we can say that this side is parallel to this side and this side is equal to this side. So this is the first property. Second property is opposite angles are equal. Means this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle. So this is the second property. The third property is, says that the diagonals bisect each other. Means we can say that. Let's use another pen. No, we can. if this is the first diagonal and this is the second diagonal, and let's say they meet at O, we can say that this equals to this and this equals to this so these are the properties of parallelogram and the last property is adjacent angles sum is 180 degree means if we say that angle a plus angle d is equals to 180 degree means this angle plus this angle is 180 similarly angle b plus angle c equals to 180 degree so these are the some of the important properties of parallelogram. So let's discuss the next quadrilateral which is square. Now in square the first property is all sides are equal means all sides are equal this side this side this side and let we name this as A B C and D so all sides are equal and second property is all angles are right angle means each and every angle is 90 degree so let's say this is 90 this is 90 this is 90 and this is 90 and the third property is diagonals bisect each other at 90 degree and they are also equal means if we have a diagonal like this and we have a diagonal like this so they bisect each other and they are also equal and they bisect each other at 90 degree so this is these all angles are 90 degrees so these are the important properties of square now let's discuss the next which is rectangle now in rectangle First of all, we can say that opposite sides are equal and parallel and second property is each angle is 90 degree means this angle, this angle, this angle and this angle. Each angle is 90 degree and third is the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degree and they are all equal means if we have diagonal like this and diagonal like this so this equals to this and this equals to this so this is a properties of rectangle now let's discuss the Next, which is rhombus, so which is also very important from the exam point of view. So in rhombus, first of all, 
all sides are equal means let's say this all sides are equal and second is the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degree means so if this is the diagonal this is the diagonal so they bisect each other at 90 degree but you have to make it note but they are not equal means the diagonals are not equal they just bisect each other at 90 degree so this is some of the important properties of rhombus now let's discuss the next is trapezium so it's a very special uh, parallelogram or we can say quadrilateral so let's discuss this first the first property of trapezium is one pair of opposite sides are parallel only they are only parallel they are not equal it, it is not we can say mandatory that or compulsory or mandatory whatever you want to say they are not equal they can be equal but they should be parallel only okay so we can say let's say if we have sides a and b so these lines are parallel only and this is the height between the two sides this is this is the first and the most important property of trapezium which you will use most of the questions to solve the problems now let's discuss the next which is kite now first of all kite is a special quadrilateral okay first of all it's a special quadrilateral and second it is not a parallelogram not a parallelogram because students generally confuse it with a parallelogram so first of all it is or not a parallelogram which is a very important point to note now and the third property is its adjacent sides are equal adjacent sides are equal means in the quadrilateral let's say in a parallelogram the opposite sides are equal and parallel however in kite only adjacent sides are equal means this side equals to this side and this side equals to this side so these are the some of the important properties of kite now we have discussed each and every kind of quadrilateral which we can which we are going to use to solve the problems related to quadrilaterals so let's summarize some of the important points which we always need to Keep, uh, remember so that we can solve the problems very efficiently now first point is square is a rectangle and also a rhombus why because let's say if we have a square like this in square all sides are equal and the diagonals are also equal and they bisect each other at 90 degree like this now if we have a rectangle like this in rectangle only opposite sides are equal however the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degree right and they are equal so we can clearly see that a square square can be rectangle but if you check rectangle cannot be square why because in rectangle only opposite sides are equal not all sides are equal however in square all sides are equal so this is the important relation you must understand why square is a rectangle and why rectangle is not a square the same way we can say that a square can be a rhombus but a rhombus cannot be a square now same way a parallelogram is a trapezium but trapezium is not a parallelogram and for kite we know that kite is not a parallelogram at any cost or any way why because in kite only adjacent sides are equal but in parallelogram we always follow opposite sides are equal and parallel now let's say how the quadrilaterals works let's say we have a parallelogram in parallelogram there comes the categories like this we can mark like this like this so in parallelogram it comes square it comes rectangle it comes rhombus then comes trapezium and another special quadrilateral is kite so this is all about the 
general properties of quadrilaterals. So thank you for watching this video on edupediaworld.com. Keep watching further videos. Have a nice day ahead.